folks, we're here for some Real Talk with Coffee. Uh, I'm talking today about identity, which is pretty big, but we're going to talk about it in like two and a half minutes with some coffee. Um, but I, this is actually something that's been coming up for me a lot, uh, the stuff I've been reading. So I recently just read uh, an article with my uh, writing class uh, about workism and that I, this idea that in especially the United States, work is such a fundamental part of our identity and our sense of self that it almost takes on a religious, like religious overtones. And it's a really fascinating article. But um, so there's that idea of work as a place where we search for identity. And that's the whole idea of like, you should love what you do and have passion for what you do for a job. And then also this amazing book called Perfect Madness, uh, Motherhood in the Age of Anxiety by, oh my gosh, Judith, I can't remember her last name, but if you Google it, you'll find it. Excellent book, all about uh, parenting trends, but also about how society puts burdens on parents and how sometimes the uh, social costs of some of our societal problems, those costs get put onto families as opposed to, I don't know corporate America. So good book. I highly recommend it. But um, that was that book was also talking about the way that some of us, especially women, are sort of trained or expected to put our identity into motherhood. And so that idea that being a mom, especially, or being a parent, becomes the place where your identity gets developed. So I've been reading these things, the idea of like, work is where identity gets developed, but that might be a problem. And parenthood is where identity gets developed. And that might be a problem. And it was so interesting because as I've been talking about these things and especially reading that workism article in a class, one of my students, who's a lovely 18 year old, different world from mine um, now, uh, said, well, I think it just means you need a balance for your identity. And it was so interesting because that was so it's so obvious as soon as he said it. But it really made me think about creating balance and what that means when we think about identity. So this is my long way of coming around to the point or the idea that. When I talk about creating balance, I'm always talking about making intentional choices about how you use your time and energy on a regular basis, daily, weekly, monthly. And that's what creating balance looks like. It's kind of an in the moment thing with some time to step back and do intentional planning about where you're going to put your precious time and energy. But when we think about identity, I think balance plays a role here too. And that's just the idea that you don't want too many of your kind of identity eggs in one basket. And I, it made me think a lot about uh, one of my jobs early on where I was working as a literacy coach and I loved it. And I was just kind of getting started in that piece of my career. And then that first year that I was doing that work, all of the literacy coaches in the district got laid off. And it wasn't like I got fired for doing something wrong, but I started to put a lot of my sort of self and my identity into that role. And I remember how it was really hard and somewhat devastating. Really, my life is fine. and It turned out fine. But I remember that moment of all this getting laid off, it really struck me and it stuck with me to this day that I don't want to invest too much of my sense of myself into my work. I will put time into my work. I will put energy into my work. I will put passion into my work. But I won't say that I am only this thing, or I am primarily this thing for work, because I just saw in that moment how easily it could t be taken away, having nothing to do with me personally. And so I, I share that with you just to say, I think it's interesting for all of us, especially as parents, to consider what parts of our lives make up our identity, our sense of who we are. And hopefully it's a mix of parenting and personal interests and other relationships and maybe work. But it's really nice if we can think about how all of those pieces of our lives are part of our identity so that if one of them went away tomorrow or one of them got very problematic tomorrow, we wouldn't lose ourselves in the process. So those are some of my thoughts about identity and creating balance within our multiple facets of our identity or areas of our identity. As always, uh, leave a comment below if you have some thoughts or want to share one of your thoughts about identity. And as always, subscribe to the Create Balance newsletter to get more of this kind of content and writing. Um, and really, at this point, the newsletter is where most of my essays and articles are getting published. So you can uh, check it out at createbalancedlife.com or check out the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.